y'all, it's Lauren from Hot for Food, and today we're gonna be tackling the TikTok tortilla, or the wrap hack, as you have seen all over the internet. Uh, I think it's still relevant, I keep seeing it. Um, I wanted to make my own versions for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we're gonna do the TikTok tortilla three ways today. These are just ideas that I wanted to make, things that I thought would be delicious as a wrap. And of course, they're gonna be all vegan. The key to doing these wraps is you can't put in raw ingredients, unless it's raw vegetables and things like that. But anything that needs to be cooked should be cooked prior to getting rolled up into these wraps. Other than that, it's pretty easy. You can let your imagination run wild. I didn't look in to see who started this whole trend, but somebody on TikTok did it, of course, where all the cool food trends come from. Um, I did a quarantine um, food trend video on my personal channel, Lauren in Real Life, uh, a number of months ago, and most of the trends I wasn't uh, much of a fan of. This one I think I'm gonna be a fan of, because who wouldn't want just a handy dandy wrap? I also like that we're looking at our food in terms of mathematics. So you take your tortilla, you want a 10 to an 11 inch tortilla and you just make a slit like this from the middle down the center. And now you want to think about your wrap in quadrants, which is sort of what I'm saying is the math component. One, two, three, four. So just think about what four things would I love plus a sauce to eat together. So for breakfast, I'm going to do um, a just egg patty. And so in this first quadrant, I'm going to put just a little bit of the vegan cheddar cheese. I've cooked my just folded egg patty right there. Then let's do more cheese. Of course, you don't have to have cheese in every quadrant, but I'm gonna put it in two of the quadrants because I want this stuff to get nice and um, gooey, I guess, with cheese. These are two Beyond Meat breakfast sausage uh, spicy patties. These are amazing. I'm also gonna do a um, crispy uh, hash brown, which I've already crisped up. I did all of these in the air fryer, so they got crispy, and then a little bit more cheese on this side. You know what, let's just put cheese on all four quadrants. Who the heck cares? Lots of cheese. Now, do we wanna add a hot sauce or something? Yes, we do. I thought about adding tomato and lettuce, but it's just gonna get hot and steamy, so I'm not gonna do that. So let's add some Frank's Red Hot to our egg, maybe a little bit to our hash brown and our sausage. All you do is go quadrant one over quadrant two. Quadrant three, or two, over quadrant three. This one's gonna be a fat wrap. And then quadrant four, Let's go this way so that the cheese doesn't fall out or s and it sticks. Look at that. Now we go to a grill pan and we press it. I have a panini press uh, to go on top or if you have an actual panini press, you can do it in that. For this one, I'm gonna do some butter on the outside. Uh, you could also do a vegetable oil spray, which would be just as easy. So now it's time for lunch. And for that one, I'm doing like a meatball sandwich type wrap, which I'm super stoked about. So I've got Beyond Meat meatballs that I pre-cooked and I just halved them. I have some marinara sauce. I have vegan mozzarella cheese slices. This is that pickled sandwich mix called uh, Gardenera style mix. No one ever uses this for anything, but this pickled sort of briny uh, bite in the sandwich is gonna be super good, kind of like, you know, an Italian meatball sub. We're also gonna add basil and spinach for some extra greens in this one. Now you could actually cook your meatballs in a little bit of marinara if you wanted, but I'm going to just spread it like a pizza in all of the quadrants in a thin layer. And then you can reserve the rest for dipping if you want extra can just heat up the rest in the microwave or something. The sauce doesn't need to be heated. It'll get warm in the cooking process. We're gonna put cheese in the first and the fourth quadrant. And then you're gonna layer your meatballs here in the second quadrant, very tightly packed. Our sandwich mix can go in the third quadrant. It's basically cauliflower, pepperoncini, a little bit of celery, a little bit of carrot, all pickled and tangy. And you just wanna chop it up into a fine mince because usually it comes in large chunks. And then you're gonna add your basil and your spinach just layered in this fourth quadrant. You can tear the basil a little bit if you want. I find the cheese is good in the fourth quadrant because that's where it will hit the burner. 
but you want lots of cheese, so I also put it in the first quadrant. It doesn't really matter where you put the things in this because it all just kind of gets held by this design that somebody invented. This is one of those things where I'm like, how did I not think of this? It seems just so basic and easy, but like, never occurred to me. Like making quesadillas now is so stupid. You can just do this. Look at that. Are you ready to see what I'm making for dinner with the wrap hack? We're gonna be doing a chicken pot pie style wrap. Oh yes, it's delicious. So for the chicken pot pie tortilla wrap, we're gonna use leftover mashed potatoes that have chives, salt, pepper, vegan butter, garlic powder. They're very flavorful. So if yours aren't flavorful for some reason, add flavor into them. I've also got browned up vegan chicken pieces. Again, some vegan, uh, you could use smoked Gouda, you could use mozzarella, provolone, whatever kind of white vegan cheese you want. And then some of these mixed garden vegetables. This is what you would find, of course, in chicken pot pie, these little veggies. The potatoes and the cheese are gonna make kind of like the gooey gravy part of the pot pie element of this. So what you wanna do is take your leftover mash and spread it evenly in a thin layer all over the wrap. And if yours are really cold, just uh, heat them up in the microwave a little bit so that they're easier to spread. You can use your hands. It really doesn't matter. You're the only one eating this. I'm just making one wrap per thing. So you'd have to double the ingredients um, on the recipes if you want to make more. Uh, and so those recipes are on hotforfoodblog.com, of course. So we're gonna put our cheese here and Really, this is the outsides of the wrap, so it's up to you. It still melts in the middle though. All right, and then our chicken here. You can also, like the potatoes are gonna help hold everything, so just smush it in. And then our vegetables, smush those in. And fold her up. Now this one's gonna be good with butter on the outside, I think, just to make it a little more richer, or rich. Look at that. Look at how fat this one is. <laughs> okay, here's our three wraps. We've got breakfast over here. We've got lunch, which is the messiest of them all, and dinner, which seemed to be the biggest one, although the tortilla is the same size. <laughs> Now this is the kind of thing you wanna make and eat immediately so that it stays hot and crunchy. And of course, I cooked them all before I'm eating them because I just wanted to get them in the pan. So they're not exactly hot and toasty right now, but I'm sure they'll still be good. These are huge. I would probably only eat half to be honest. I mean, the breakfast one is obviously good. They're all good. I used to make quesadillas all the time. I'll never do it again. I would put one flat tortilla, fill it, and put another flat tortilla on top, do the thing, flip it, everything would fall out, and then cut it into fours. But now I'll just do this. Here's our meatball sub. I have to say, I am obsessed with the Beyond Meatballs. They're so good. Mm-hmm. This one would be amazing if it was really hot right now, but it's not. But it is good. And of course you can have your extra marinara on the side. This one's still hot, chicken pot pie. Looks like I've got about six meals here. I'm not gonna eat these all right now. All right, uh, why is this one so big? This chicken pot pie one is a gigantor. I'm just biting into the middle. <laughs> I feel like this is a very kid-like meal. Like did someone invent it who has kids? Cause I feel like this is fun for kids and like maybe make them smaller. Use like smaller tortillas. I feel a little silly eating it myself. Making a mess. Okay, this one's good, but that's because I made like some killer mashed potatoes. Mmm. Mmm. 
This one's my actually my actually my favorite. It's because I like those frozen vegetables, and I really like that chicken. And these mashed potatoes are amazing. Mmm. Now here's the thing. I wasn't gonna make a dessert one, but when I mentioned today on Instagram that I was gonna do breakfast, lunch, and dinner, my friend Jasmine said, what about dessert? And I was like, am I really gonna go there? And now that I've made these, I'm kind of like, why don't I just make a dessert one? I didn't plan this with what I have. I'm thinking cinnamon and sugar and butter on the outside to get a crust and then peanut butter and chocolate chips on the inside. And if I had banana, which I don't, that would be amazing. I don't have banana, I only have frozen banana. How about I just like do it really quickly and see if it's even any good. I just feel like a white flour tortilla might not be good with dessert, but I mean, let's just try it for, for shits and giggles. Interesting. The outside, look at how crispy it got. I feel like I want to eat down here actually first. That's hot. Yeah, it's just missing banana, otherwise it'd be perfect. Hmm. Some of you crazy cats out there probably are gonna want to make this. It would obviously be better if you had like a crepe and then got it crispy and grilled it. But I didn't have a crepe and I didn't want to make a crepe. Well, I think I'm all tortillaed out here, guys. <laughs> it's a lot of tortillas. Well, there's the half-eaten full collection of TikTok tortillas by Hot For Food. That's it for me here today. In the meantime, you can pre-order my new cookbook coming out March 16th. It's called Hot For Food All Day. Over a hundred and 10 recipes. There's about 122 recipes in this book. When you pre-order from any retailer, whether it's uh, your local bookstore or one of the big guys, you can go to hotforfoodblog.com and claim your free ebook called Just Dessert Stuff, which is a bonus ebook with 10 dessert recipes that are not in Hot For Food all day and are not on hotforfoodblog.com. They're really good recipes too. Plus when you do that, You'll be on my official Hot For Food All Day mailing list and you'll get an invite to my Hot For Food All Day launch events happening on March 16th at 12 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Pacific. And I am doing those times to accommodate as many time zones as I can around the globe. So stay tuned for a little invite in your inbox coming soon, much closer to March 16th with all the fun details of how you can join that digital event. There'll be prizes, there'll be guests. It will be super fun. And I hope to see so many of you there to celebrate the launch of the book. I'm so excited. We're counting down the days here. We're getting so close. Time really does fly, especially in the kind of times we're in. So it's very bizarre, but I am, am excited that my book's coming out soon. So I hope you are as well. Let me know in the comments if you've pre-ordered already, if you've made anything from Just Dessert Stuff, I would love to see the pics, hashtag Just Dessert Stuff, and make sure to tag at Hot For Food and anything you're making from the blog, the book, any experiments you're doing, whatever. I love seeing all the pictures of like your pets loving the food, your kids loving the food, your boyfriends and your dads and everything. Um, thanks so much for being here on the YouTube channel. Subscribe if you're not already and let me know what you put in your TikTok tortillas and if you try any of my ideas, if they sound appealing. Which one was your fave? I'm still liking the chicken pot pie one. The dessert one, I don't really want to eat a tortilla dessert, but maybe somebody else does. Yeah, this, eh, it's okay. <laughs> All right, see you guys next time. Bye.